Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own fonts and colors and apply them to your full website inside of Wix Studio. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So here I am inside of Wix Studio and I put together a small little three section website using some of the pre-built sections here in Wix Studio. And although maybe the overall design looks nice, maybe the fonts and the font sizes aren't particularly the style we're going for. But how do we find the fonts that we want to use and how do we know what sizes of the fonts we need to use? Well, for me, I typically start by finding inspiration online. I'll typically find websites that I like and I like to see what fonts that they use and maybe even font pairings they use. And then I'll head on over to a website called Google Fonts. Now this website has hundreds, if not thousands of free, timeless and modern fonts that you can download and use on your website. For today's video, we're gonna be using this one called Actor. And all you have to do is press get font and then you can download the file pretty easily. Then if we head on over to Wix Studio, we can of course select a text element, click on the font and down at the very bottom, we'll have an option to upload the font. Now, as you can see, I've already uploaded the font choice here. So I could easily just change the font to Actor and you'll notice that changes it here. However, for now, I'm just gonna undo it because I'm gonna show you an easier way to do this in just a second. But before we actually do that, how do we know what font sizes we want to use for our website? Well, I recently saw a video by Design Path who also makes Wix Studio videos, so feel free to check him out, where he made a video talking about this website called Typescale. Now, if you are not aware of modern web design principles, a lot of the font sizes are based on a rem unit of measurement. Now, rem basically is a multiplication factor of your base font size. So right now we can see our base font size is 16 pixels. So if I switch rem over to pixels, you'll see our paragraph one is set to 16 pixels. So if I switch back over to rem, you can see that this is set to one rem. So if we head on up to heading one, you will see that this is almost three rem. So if I switch over to pixels, you can see it's almost three times 16, which would be 48. So it's almost three times the default value here. Now, one reason I really, really love this website is over here on the right hand side, we can actually expand this panel and we can kind of see what the website would look like using this scale preset. Now we can easily switch this scale preset. So maybe we do 1.25 and we can kind of see it adjust on the page. And maybe we like this sizing or maybe we like this one and it's a little bit bigger and I think it looks really clean. However, for today, I think we're gonna choose the 1.25 major third preset. So if we go ahead and unexpand this, make sure that this one's on pixels, we can kind of see the values that we need to set up inside of Wix Studio. And what we're gonna do is head on over to the site styles icon right here and open this up. Now you're gonna notice two things. We have typography at the top and we also have colors. Now we'll touch on colors in just a minute. For now, we're gonna focus on typography. Here, we will be able to set up our font. So, so if I click on this heading one, we can change the font. So of course, I'm gonna choose the one that we uploaded. However, for the font size, if we head on back over to type scales, we'll see that this one is set to 61. Now, I'm personally a fan of even numbers. So what I'm gonna do is set this to 62. And then a cool thing about this is we can actually set up min and max numbers. So typically for the minimum, which will be viewed on mobile, I might set this one to like 32 pixels. This may take some guess and check, but for now we're not gonna really worry about it. Once we are done with this design, we can press apply. Once we press apply anywhere on the website, you will automatically notice it changed the text to our new heading one style. Now, as of right now, there's no other text elements on this page that is using a heading one. So it didn't update any other text. However, if we select this one, we can see that this one is set to a paragraph two. So if we go over to site styles, head scroll down to paragraph two, and let's go ahead and edit this one. For this, we are gonna say actor, 
I also sometimes like to make the paragraph fonts a little bit lighter, so it's not too much black, just to kind of separate it. And then for mobile or the minimum number here, I will set this to 13 pixels. Now I'll go ahead and press apply. And now everywhere on the website that had a paragraph two style, you can now see has been updated. Okay, so now I have updated all of the fonts here in our typography section. And if we take a look at the website, you can kind of see everything has been updated and looks really, really clean. However, now let's talk about colors. If I switch over to our other page, we can see that there is this website. Again, I used a pre-designed section. However, maybe we don't really like the color choices here. Everything right now is linked up to our site theme colors. But again, maybe it's not exactly what we're looking for. So for this, I'm actually gonna be using a website called Coolers. It is a great place to kind of explore different color palettes and use them on your website. Now, if we head on over to tools, we have a few different options to find colors. We can either create our own palette, we can explore already existing palettes, or we can even use an image picker tool, which allows us to upload a photo and create a palette from that. Now for today's video, I'm just going to press explore palettes. Now for the section that we have built, maybe a nice pastel style will work and we'll find something. I think this one right here in the top right looks pretty clean. And if we hover over all of these different options, you're gonna notice that they have a hex code. And if you just click on one, you'll see it gets copied to your clipboard. So if we head on back to Wix Studio, open up our site styles, and switch on over to the colors tab, we'll now have all of these different palettes that we can set up. For the color that we have selected, it might be a nice action color. So if I edit the entire color range by pressing the little pencil, we can then paste in our hex code and press apply. Now in this instance, the color that we want as our main color is in the second column here. And maybe a lot of our elements on our website, the background color is linked to the third column for our action color. So what we can easily do is just edit one of our colors in our palette, and we can either adjust the saturation or brightness or whatever, or we can just like before, we can just throw in the hex code and press apply. And it was just that easy. Now we also have more colors. So for this background, I know it is actually linked to this color right here. So if I head on back, maybe we want to choose this orange color here. So we'll copy that code, we'll edit this color range, and we'll paste in this hex and press apply. And then you'll notice that this background color changes a little bit. I will say I did replace orange with a different orange, so it wasn't as drastic. So just to kind of show it a little bit more, I'm just gonna choose this color temporarily and I'll paste it in and you'll kind of see how that changes the color. And honestly, that actually looks pretty nice together, especially with it kind of pairing with this woman's shirt here. However, let's say we're not a big fan of the white and black. Maybe we want the white background to be kind of an off-white and maybe we want our black text to all be maybe slightly off black. So what I'm gonna do is grab this light color here, which is a variant of our action color. And I'm going to raise the saturation up to where it's very, very light. And we'll have something that looks like this. So FFF 9F7. I'm gonna remember that code. I'm gonna come over to our white, change this to FFF 9F7. And I'll go ahead and apply that, okay? So now if I grab the background, we can then switch it back to our off-white color. And you can see it looks a lot nicer than just having a normal white. Now for the black, we can do kind of the same thing. However, it's on a purple background, which I'm not a huge fan of now. <laughs> um, so what I'm actually gonna do is switch it back to this orange color really quickly, just so it matches the background a little bit more nicely. And we can see that we have this dark color down here. If I grab this, you can see it's 403227, but we can even make it a little bit darker. So 030202. So I'm gonna remember that and apply it here, 030232 and press apply. And now if we go ahead and preview this page, we have a nice off black and an off white to kind of pair with our overall color palette. And I think that looks a lot nicer than just regular white or regular black. 
But using site styles is gonna drastically speed up your workflow because you don't wanna have to change the fonts for every single text element and you don't wanna have to change the color for every single element that has color. It is a huge time saver if you just set up the color palettes and your font styles so that way it can be applied to your entire website. It's also important to note that anytime you add apps like the blog, e-commerce, or any other apps that uses text, a lot of times they pull from your text styles. So if you easily want to update or even just install the apps with the correct fonts already applied, then the easiest method to do so is to use site styles. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.